we now move on to our next chapter in maths that is logarithms basically call as log so logarithm uh, logarithm are the one or basically we can say that it was developed in the previous okay in the olden times so as to make complicated kind of calculation simple because what they did was they made something which is a uh, called as a log table so there is some kind of a log table book over here so they made certain table like this so this is called as a logarithm table so this is a table over here so what used to happen is that once you have this table with you you can use the different formulas of logarithm and instead of multiplying two big numbers you will be able to add the logs of this two, find out the anti log and give an answer without multiplication. So basically instead of doing multiplication, you are going to do addition using the table and find out an answer. Not to worry about, you are not having the logarithm even in the 10th standard. So there is only a simple chapter over here, just as a I would just say this is much more an introduction to logarithm so that in case when you end up in the 11th standard uh, whether it be, it be commerce or science you are going to use the log tables in the 11th standard for maths and other subjects also for so logarithms is quite important in that manner so the logarithm is written in the form as it will be always given as log of some number let's take a log of uh, let's say b and it has got a base over here which is nothing but a so this a over here is called as the base and this is that particular number whose log is being found out so this logarithm has got a direct relationship with exponents okay so exponents and log are very much connected for example if a number is a raised to n is equals to b okay if i say that a raised to n is equals to b then in such a way that log of b that is log of b the this is nothing but the base so this is the base so the base will still remain the same a and the answer to this will be n got it log of b the answer of the exponent so the log of the answer of the exponent to the same base as that of the exponent is going to be the answer is n that is nothing the exponent of the index okay the index number ka jo exponent hai that is the answer so this is just like crossing log of this is nothing but this log of b is nothing but a got it so suppose if i say over here 3 square is equal to 9 that means log of 9 to the base 3 is equal to 2 got it let's take another example 7 raised to 0 is 1 that means log of 1 to the base 7 is 0 got it this is how it works we can take another example we can say 4 square is 16 so log of 16 to the base 4 is 2 understood this is the thing how the log is connected to the exponents so exponents and logs are connected in this particular way and uh, we have over here the certain things like log of 1 to the base a is 0 we have certain kind of rules we can say 
there are many rules the one which will be used in the first exercise will be only one or two of them so what we have here are the rules to remember is first one is log of 1 to the base a is 0 why is that so you can easily make out a raised to 0 is 1 anything raised to 0 is 1 so that's why log of 1 to the base a is 0 similarly you also know log of a to the base a will be equal to 1 a raised to 1 is equal to a right this is nothing but a raised to 0 is equal to 1 this is nothing but a raised to 1 is equal to a right simple we also have the thing as log of x to the base a is equal to log of y to the base a then x is equal to y right so because you can see over here suppose this is n then we know that a raised to x sorry a raised to n is equal to a raised to n is equal to a raised to n is equal to x sorry and a raised to n is equal to y a raised to n is equal to x and a raised to n is also equal to y therefore a, x is equal to y right so that is the next thing what we need to remember and yes in case in any log if it is just log of 5 with base not given to you that means if the base is not given if base not given then by default it equals to 10 okay so if it is this way it is nothing but log of 5 to the base 10 right if it is nothing given over here it is base 10 so that is the common logarithm the table which i showed you was based on logarithm of base 10 that's why we have all the values over here with base 10 so these are the formulas or we can say these are the things what you are going to use in the first exercise of this particular chapter so we start with the first exercise exercise 8.1 okay <clears throat> exercise 8.1 first car first as usual we go for the alternate sums. Convert the following to logarithmic form. You have got 5 square is equal to 25. Therefore, log of 25 to the base 5 is equal to 2. I told you this. This comes here. Base will remain base. 2 comes here. Third one. It's 7 raised to x is equal to 100. So it's nothing but log of 100 to the base 7 is equal to x. We take the next one, fifth one. 6 raised to 1 is equal to 6. So log of 6 to the base 6 is equal to 1. Next one, sum number 7. 10 raised to minus 2 is equal to 0 0.01. So we need log of 0 0.01 to the base 10 is equal to minus 2. This was the first part. We move on to the second one. Second cup first. Convert the following logarithm into exponents. So log of 32 the base 2 is equal to 5. So 2 base will remain the same. This comes here 5 is equal to 32. Got it? Very easy. Next one. Log of 1 upon 3 to the base 3 is equal to minus 1. So that gives me 3 raised to minus 1 is equal to 1 upon 3. Fifth sum. Log of 32 base 8. Log of 32 to the base 8 is equal to 
5 upon 3. So that's 8 raised to 5 upon 3 is equal to 32. Seventh one. Log of 0 0.25 to the base 2 is equal to 2 minus 2 sorry. That makes it 2 raised to minus 2 is equal to 0 0.25. Understood? This is how we are going to get the answers for 8.1. You can also cross check these answers quickly. Yeah, first is log of 25.2, log of 7x, log of 6, 1, yeah. Then log of 10 minus 2, whatever. 2 raised to 5 is 32, 3 raised to minus 1, 1 upon 3, 8 raised to 5 upon 3 is 32, and 2 raised to minus 2 is 0 0.25. Yeah, that's correct answers. We move on to sum number 3. <coughs> so sum number 3. By converting the exponent form, find the value of. So we are going to form, find the value of by converting it to exponent form. So it is log of 2 raised to 16 so what we'll do is that we will take it as x so here 2 raised to x is equal to 16 so 2 raised to x is equal to 2 raised to 4 so x is equal to 4 okay so you just find out the value so that's why the answer is 4 we take the third sum log of 8 to the base 4 is equal to x. So 4 raised to x is equal to 8. Okay. So now this is nothing but 2 raised to 2x is equal to 2 raised to 3. So 2x is equal to 3. So x is equal to 3 upon 2. That's the answer. So log of 8 raised to is 3 upon 2. Did you understand this? It's quite easy. Just a bit of practice. Fifth one, log of 0 0.1 to the base 10, let's take it as x, so 10 raised to x is equal to 0 0.1, so 10 raised to x is equal to 1 upon 10 is 1 upon 10, so 10 raised to x is equal to 10 raised to minus 1, so x is equal to minus 1. We see sum number 7. Log of 256 to the base 0 0.5. So log of 256 to the base 0 0.5 is equal to x. So 0 0.5 to the base to x is equal to 256. 0 0.5 is nothing but 1 upon 2. So 1 upon 2 raised to x is equal to 2 raised to. This is 2 to the 4 to 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. 256 that is 8 so 2 raised to 8 so this is nothing but 2 raised to minus x is equal to 2 raised to 8 so minus x is equal to 8 so x is equal to minus 8 this is the answer clear let's check this out let's check the answers for this third sum 32 is the okay sorry 4 is the first answer 3.2, 3 upon 2, minus, fifth answer is, is 2, one second. I will take the right sum, yeah, okay, yeah, third, third one, so 4, then 3 upon 2, then minus 2, I will just check up, it should be minus, minus 1, yeah, and then minus 8, so I'll just check up my fifth one, Fifth one is zero. Oh, sorry. This is given as 0 0.01. I made a mistake in copying the sum. So it will be 0 0.01. So it's 0 0.01. So this is 100. So this becomes minus 2. So the answer is minus 2. Okay. That is one of the reasons I always check the answers behind so that you are not having a wrong thing later on because it's a video. 
we cannot change that thing later on so that's the thing why that's why i keep on checking the answers otherwise checking the answers may not be required every time okay so that was question number 3 we jump to question number 4 Okay, question number four. We have got the first one as solve the following equations for x. So fourth one, the first one is log of x to the base three is equal to two. You need to find out the value of x here. <clears throat> so it's three raised to two is equal to x. So x is equal to nine. Very easy sum. Sum number three. Log of x to the base 10 is equals to 2 sorry minus 2 so you see 10 raised to minus 2 is equals to x right that is 1 upon 10 raised to 2 is equals to x so 1 upon 100 is equals to x or x is equals to 0.01 that's the third sum we move on to the fifth sum log of 11 to the base x is equals to 1 so we got x raised to 1 is equals to 11 so x is equals to 11 that's it we move on to the seventh sum log of x to the base 81 log of x to the base 81 is 3 upon 2 so 81 raised to 3 upon 2 is equals to x That is nothing but nine into two into three upon two is equals to x. So it gets nine raised to three is equals to x. So x is equals to seven twenty nine. That's nine q. Clear? That was sum number seven. We move on to sum number nine of the same question. So okay, I just forgot to check the answers. So fourth one was nine. Then was zero point zero one years. Then it is eleven and seven twenty nine. Yeah, okay. So next one is sum number nine. Log of x to the base four. Log of x to the base four is equal to minus one point five. So four is to minus one point five is equal to x. My one point five is nothing but three upon two. So four. Will be nothing but two raised to two into minus three upon two is equal to x. Two two gets cancelled, so it's two raised to minus three is equal to x. One upon two raised to three is equal to x. So x is equal to one upon eight. That's the answer. Nine sir, one upon eight. We move on to sum number eleven. Sum number eleven is log of zero point zero zero one. Log of zero point zero zero one raised to base x. Zero zero one base x is equal to minus three. So x raised to minus three is equal to zero point zero zero one. X raised to minus three is equal to one upon one thousand. X raised to minus three is equal to ten raised to minus three. So therefore, x is equal to ten. Okay. Now comes sum number thirteen. Log of two x plus three. The whole base raised to base of four is equal to three upon two. So four raised to three upon two is equal to two x plus three. So two raised to two into three upon two is equal to two x plus three. Two two cancels eight. So two raised to three is eight. Is equal to two x plus three. So eight minus three is equal to two x. So five upon two is equal to x. So for x is equal to five upon two. That's the answer. Let us check up the answer still there, and then we go further. Checking the answer for sum number nine. Sum so number nine was one upon eight, eleven was ten, and thirteen was five upon two. 
we move further to sum number 13 we have marked 15 sum number 15 log of x square minus 1 the whole the base 2 is equals to 3 right so 2 raised to 3 is equals to x square minus 1 so 8 plus 1 is equals to x square so 9 is equals to x square so x is equals to plus or minus 3 that's the answer for the 15th one we come to the next last sum 17th one 17th we have got log of 2x minus 3 is equals to 1 since nothing is given over here, this has to be taken as 10. So 10 raised to 1 is equal to 2x minus 3. So 10 plus 3 is equal to 2x. 13 upon 2 is equal to x. So x is equal to 13 upon 2. Let's check the answers for these number ones. We check it from sum number 11. 11 is 10. This is 5 upon 2, 13. Plus or minus 3 is 15 and 1 upon uh, yeah, 13, 13 upon 2 is 6, 1 upon 2. That is the last answer. That is sum number 15. This is nothing but 6, 1 upon 2. Understood? This was the sums up to sum number 4. Okay. We move on to sum number 5. Sum number 5, we go here. This is fifth sum is given that log of a to the base 10 is equal to b. Express, you have to express 10 raised to 2b minus 3 in terms of a. You have to express this in terms of a. So this we know here that 10 raised to b is equals to a. 10 raised to b is equals to a. So what will be the square of this? So 10 raised to b the whole square will be equal to a square. Right? Now, what is this? This is 10 raised to 2b minus 3 is nothing but 10 raised to 2b into or upon 10 raised to 3. So obviously, what I require to do now is divide the both sides by 10 raised to 3. So that becomes 10 raised to 2b upon 1000 is equal to a square upon 1000. So therefore, we have over here the 10 raised to 2b minus 3 is equal to a square upon 10 raised to 3. Can be written as 10 raised to minus 3 a square. Both answers are correct. Did you understand this? Let's understand this once again. Log of a to the base 10 is b. So automatically 10 raised to b is equal to a. This is what we get. Now we need to find out the value of this particular thing. Which is nothing but like this. 10 raised to b is nothing but 10 raised to b upon 10 raised to 3. Right? So first of all if I square this I get 10 raised to 2b is equals to a square so 2b is equals to a square to mil gaya ab dono ko se 1000 se divide karna tha so you divide 1000 on both sides so that's why 10 raised to 2b minus 3 is equals to a square upon 10 raised to 3 or is equals to 10 raised to minus 3 a square we we'll check the answer the fifth answer is a square upon 1000 so that's uh, what they have given us as the answer we move on to sixth ka we will do the second sum of the sixth one or we can take the 6th completely, not a problem. 6th complete over here. They are given as log of x is equal to a. Log of x to the base 10 is equal to a. Log of y to the base 10 is equal to b. Okay. And log of z to the base c. So log of z to the base 10 is equal to c. 
These are three things what they are given to us. First, they want to know what is log of 2a minus 3. So, 10 raised to 2a minus 3 is what they want to find out. So, this is nothing but 10 raised to 2a upon 1000. Now, you know that 10 raised to a is equals to x. So, 10 raised to 2a is equals to x square. Therefore, 10 raised to 2a minus 3 is equals to x square upon 1000. Got it? Next is 10 raised to 3b minus 1. This is nothing but 10 raised to 3b upon 10. So 10 raised to 3b over here is 10 raised to b is equals to y. Therefore 10 raised to 3b will be equal to y cube. So 10 raised to 3b minus 1 will be y cube upon 10. Got it? Because this is equal to this. So it's y equal to 10. So that's the answers here and here. This is the answer. Answer 1, answer 2. Now we move on to answer 3. <clears throat> so sixth, third one. If log of, so it's the third part, log of p to the base 10 is equal to 2a plus b upon 2 minus 3c. We need to express p in terms of x, y and z. Okay. So we have over here that <coughs> you need to express what is it? P. Okay. So we know that 10 raised to 2a plus b upon 2 minus 3c is equals to p. Now we know from these things. First of all, log, sorry, 10 raised to a is equals to x. Therefore, 10 raised to 2a, 2a is equals to x square. Now, b upon 2. 10 raised to b is equals to y. So 10 raised to b upon 2 is equals to y raised to 1 upon 2 is equals to root y. C. 10 raised to c is equals to z. So 10 raised to 3c right, is equals to z cube. Now taking all these one by one. So you have over here 10 raised to 2a is x square. So this thing is nothing but 10 raised to 2a plus b upon 2 minus 3c is nothing but 10 raised to 2a into 10 raised to b upon 2 upon 10 raised to 3c. Hence it will be 10 raised to 2a. What is 10 raised to 2a? x square. What is 10 raised to b upon 2? Root y. And this is nothing but z cube. So that's why p is equals to x square root y z cube. Is it clear? We'll just check that up also. <clears throat> Seeing the answers for question 6. x, x square raised to 1000, y cube upon 10 and x square root y upon z cube. That's the answer for sum number 6. We now take sum number 8 and 10 one by one. Okay, sum number 8. <clears throat> log of a to the log of a to the base 10 is equals to m and log of b to the base 10 is equals to n. Express a cube upon b cube. So first of all is equals to m and here 10 raised to b is equal to sorry 10 raised to m is equal to a and 10 raised to n is equal to b therefore a cube so 10 raised to 3m is equal to a cube and 10 raised to b square so b 2n is equal to 
b. Therefore, a cube upon b square is equals to 10 raised to 3m upon 10 raised to 2n is equals to 10 raised to 3m minus 2n. Now, sum number 8, we we'll meet the last sum of the exercise, sum number 10. That is, log of y to the base 2 is equals to x and log of z, log of z to the base 3 is equals to x. Oh, okay. We need to find the value of 72 raised to x. So we know first thing as 2 raised to x is equals to y and 3 raised to x is equals to z. Now 72, if you prime vectorize it, it is nothing but 2, 36, 2, 18, 2, 9, 3, 3, 3, 1. So which is nothing but 2 raised to 3 into 3 raised to 2. So we have over here 72 raised to x is nothing but 2 raised to 3 into 3 raised to 2 the whole raised to x which is nothing but 2 raised to 3x into 3 raised to 2x. Now 2 raised to 3x will be nothing but y cube. So this is nothing but y cube and this is nothing but z square therefore 72 raised to x is equals to y cube z square. Let's check the answers. So y cube z square and then is to uh, yeah, 3m minus 2. Okay. okay, that was the end of the first exercise of logarithm.